All right, hi parents. We are back with um, our distant learning packet three. I am here to explain everything just like I did for the previous packets. So when you get your packet, it's gonna look like this, just like the other packets. Um, happy third distant learning packet. <clears throat> Um, again, we just have our schedule, just like the past ones. Um, you don't have to follow this one, it's just a sample. Uh, when you open it up, we do have every day line out, just like last time. So week one, day one, and then we included the dates and then what they should be completing for that exact day. If you flip it over to the next side, we have week four. Um, this is because the district wanted us to give um, a couple extra days of work for that week four just in case, you know, things aren't decided yet on if we're coming back or whatever the case may be. So we decided to add in two more days just in case. Now week one day, or sorry, week four day one is um, May 26th. It's actually a Tuesday because that Monday, May 25th, is Memorial Day. So there is no work for that day because it's a holiday. So there's no scheduled work. So this would be for Tuesday and Wednesday of this week in case we need more time to figure out if we'll be coming back to school or not for the last two weeks of school. So this is the first thing that you'll find in your packet is your, suge your suggested schedule and then a breakdown of all of the work they're doing for each day. So you'll see that. Then we have this Mother's Day writing for the children that they can do um, since we're not able to put together a craft for you guys. So we thought we would include a little writing that they can do, a picture they can color, a flower. And then we left this part blank. So we put dear blank so they can fill in mom, nana, grandma, auntie, whoever their figure in their life is that they want to um, use to write a letter to is fine. So this, I believe, is scheduled for Friday, um, week one, day five on Friday. That way it can be ready by Mother's Day. That's in there for them. So then the next thing you'll find is all of the stories. So we have Shadow Puppets, which is week one. And then we have Sounds I Love, which is also used for week one. I Hear With My Ears, which is used for week two. And then if we flip over here... We'll go to the light around us, which is week three. Now, I know our last packets were copied kind of funky, so we double checked these ones and made sure that they were copied right, and then we stapled it like a book. That way, it's a lot easier for you guys to navigate. So, I hope that is helpful. So, this is going to be in there next. Those are all your stories for the week. Then we have our parent answer key. So, this is what the workbook looks like. So um, every introduction to a new week will have this cover page that has the spelling words, high frequency words, and the phonics. So unit 10, week one. So this is just week one. And again, here's all the answer keys for everything. If you have any questions about anything, you can always refer to this. You can guide the students towards the answers. That's fine. And then once we get to week two, Again, it has this cover page. So then we have, that's our parent answer key. The next thing you'll find is the student packet. So this one doesn't have any of the writing on it because it is for the students to do. This is a cut and paste. It has blank on the other side so they can cut right here and paste right here. There's, you don't have to rip it out. I got lots of packets that were kind of ripped apart. You don't have to do that. Everything on here is um, good to go. And we also fixed this copy because I know our copies last time were all wacko. So again, this is the next packet you'll see. And again, every week, beginning of a week has a new um, cover page. So you know that you're entering into a new week. Um, the next we have our math, which again also has, this is the answer key. It has all the answers. If you just keep going, it has all the answers. Again, we fixed these copies too, so nothing was upside down. We have page numbers. We have um, topic and lesson. So it's really e easy to reference. Um, on your schedule, it will say like, it will say topic 15, lesson four, page 836. 
So everything is really simple and easy to follow. This is our parent answer key. And then if you keep going, of course, we have the student copy for them to do with none of the stuff filled out. We do have some more fun coloring pages in here because we are learning fractions. Then at the end of your packet, we have this little book for the students to do. It's called My Fun Year in First, and it is stapled like a book as well. It is copied front to back, and it just has different things. So like my name, how old I am, words to describe me, adjectives, write about something you did for the first time in first grade, my school rocks, um, this is my teacher, my first grade faves, everything that I liked in first grade, and then dear future me that you guys can obviously help them um, write. But this is their packet, their little fun, like kind of end of the year packet. Um, this is saved for that week four that we have. So those two days at the very end where we're not sure if we'll be at home or in school yet, um, that is when we will have the kids do this so please save this for that week four since it is towards the end of the year we want to save this for the end that way it's more fun for them and more enjoyable this is the type of stuff that we would be doing if we were in school anyway so we want to make sure that um they get to enjoy this at the appropriate time so this will be in the back because that is for the end and then things you should have kept you should still have your 120 chart we're working with fractions this um, go around, so you shouldn't need too much of this, but I believe there are some pages in there where the 120 chart will be helpful. So hang on to this. You should have that still. You should have your journal that you had or notebook that you had from last time. Um, we don't have a set journal um, prompt for this time, so students can write about whatever they want. They can write about a story that they read, or they can write about what they did during the day. They can write about what their brother or sister did to them that was mean anything as long as they're writing that's fine so this is more open-ended for them to choose or if you like something more structured you can go ahead and just google writing prompts for first grade and there will be a ton that will come in come up um the other thing you should have kept is my shared reading so last packet we worked on unit nine this packet we will be completing unit 10 so again it's two of these it's just two of these a week total, so you're only doing this twice a week, and they're on Mondays and Wednesdays. They're super easy. They shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes at max. Um, so these are the things that you should have at home already, and then everything else that I showed you, all of this stuff will be coming in your new packet. Another thing that I'm going to be slipping in there is this little white envelope. Um, I have been asked a few times about you know more activities to include dojo points so I wanted to come up with something really clever because with the math challenges I had less and less people participating so I wanted to go ahead and come up with something a little bit more clever and maybe a little bit more fun since it's towards the end of the year so this will be going home with you guys it's just this little white envelope and when you open it up there is a letter and then this is for the students just that I miss them so much and basically what this activity is for them to earn dojo points. So they have this little letter from me and then in here is an actual like cutout of me. So the students have this activity where once they're done with their work, you can use this as an incentive, then they get to take me wherever they want with them on an adventure, whether it's playing outside, whether it's helping them do their homework, whether it's you know, on a picnic or on a scavenger hunt or riding bikes and they get to send me a picture of them with me doing their activity or they can write about it in their journal and you can send me a picture of their writing in the journal. That works too. And they'll get dojo points for this. So I have this in there. It's just a little cutout of me. I laminated it so hopefully it lasts long. And then this little letter, letter explaining it explaining it and some examples of what they can do with me and what this is it's called a flat teacher so this is also in there um that I will be giving out so I hope this explanation helps um if you guys have any questions again don't hesitate to ask I am here to help as much as I can but um this workload is a little bit lighter than the last packets because it is towards the end of the year 
Um, so the workload would be less if we were in school as well. So we wanted to implement that at home as well. We didn't want to just get busy work. We wanted to make sure we were giving work that we would be giving in class. So I hope this explanation helps. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions. See you soon. Bye, guys.